Good morning, YouTube. It's Cliff Potts again. I've got a little story from Costa Mesa, California. Hugh Fom jumped off the top of City Hall after getting a layoff notice. You want to listen to this one real closely. After the employees received their pink slips, they were told to go back to their workplaces and prepare to train their replacements. This is capitalism. No matter how good you are at your job, as long as they can find somebody else to take your job away from you for less money, you become disposable. Get that through your head. You have no value to your employer, whether it be the state or the private sector, except how much you cost them. To me, this is an insane approach to a civilized society. Now, I realize that this is what we have been trained that is the norm. But maybe it's time to look elsewhere for other solutions. Now I was thinking about this story as I stepped out a few minutes ago. And something occurred to me that uh, is often missed in the spiritual or religious debates in the United States of America. And basically it boils down to this. If you have ever read the teachings of Jesus Christ, you will find that he was not a capitalist. The man was a socialist. What's even more interesting, if you read Marx, Karl Marx, basically the father of Marxism, which you know, socialism is a derivative of, and at some point, we're going to explore this with in a little more depth. Marxist, Marxism, if you will, has its roots in conservative Orthodox Judaism. Now, you're wondering what that's all about? Read the Torah, even what we have as a transliteration into English. If you believe that the Ten Commandments and Mosaic Law came from God, then God is not a capitalist by any stretch of the imagination. God is a socialist. Now, I'll give you one example. It's called the Jubilee Year. If anybody has ever bothered to read the first five books of the Bible, you'll find it in there. Basically, what it is, is every 50 years, the plot of land that may have been sold due to hardship of an individual's life within that time frame reverts back automatically to the family of the person who sold it. If the person is still alive, it goes back to them. And, you know, when we're dealing with antiquity, the likelihood of somebody living that long is kind of slim. But the land was to revert back to the family. And if that plot of land was sold. The value of the land was based on the value of the crops 
that could be produced off that land from the time it was sold to the next Jubilee year. It wasn't constantly inflated. That gives you an idea of just how socialist God is. And this is something that is completely obliterated in the discussions in the United States concerning Judaism, Catholicism, Christianity, because those roots, those Jewish roots, are stripped from the discussion just so we can say that our Christian faith validates our so our capitalist system and it doesn't it doesn't at all so you can take that for what it's worth but once again basically you're being lied to thank you very much for your time I'll add a little more of this uh, later I have a small rally to go to in Louisville today and we'll uh, come back in and let you know how that went. Unfortunately, I still don't have a portable camera, so I can't take any pictures. <laughs> Completely and utterly technically impoverished. <laughs> but that's okay. When you are setting up a group, like Google Groups, it's a really good idea to also send individual emails to the people that you are sending invites to the group. The reason for this is simple. Software gets glitchy, as you may well know by now. And as such, many of the people you want to communicate with may not have gotten the email. <laughs> That's a little lesson from the uh, rally today. It's a small rally. Uh, I got there at 1.30 and just about 2 o'clock when everybody else was supposed to show up. They started trickling in. We had about 10 people there. Did a little business and then uh, basically we're out there holding out our signs to let people know that we are there to defend the middle class. That's what this is all about for us. So, had a good day. Now it's time for me to finally get some food into me. So I wish you well. We had a good day, and I hope you have too. As always, thank you very much for your time. May your God go with you. Bye-bye for now.